I'm East Coast Pete. Welcome to the show with no name. Who's that, you ask? Well, you probably already know because you read the description. This is Slift. Awesome, incredible prog from France. Albums include Amon, The Unexplored Planet, Space is the Key, and Spaceship for Everyone. Almost all their merch is sold out on their Facebook page. The band requests fans to send music to them as all of their shows are either postponed or canceled right now. They want notice of obscure albums of dark synth psych doom and jazz and they will listen to them if you send them so look up slift online and get their information and if you have some suggestions they're like chomping at the bit to go out on tour you need something to do in between and this is three guys. They came together in 2016. Gene F. Kanick and Remy F. All right. It's not Gene F. Kanick. It's Gene F. Kanick F. and Remy F. I'm guessing they don't want to divulge their full surnames. They are from to loose and their music is on vicious circle records and stolen body records and this is the best new prog band this band's achievements are astonishing it's much more than space rock it's deeply evocative a mind meditation journey they are called French Garage Psych, but that is not descriptive enough. They're, this is a cult level alchemic music. They are compatible compared to wooden ships with a J, three OCs and other essential bands in this scene. They claim influence by Bitchin Bahas. Bass player Remy is guitarist Jean's brother and drummer Kane is a friend from high school. <laughs> which neighboring bands in Toulouse are Eridon, Sensible, Hubris, Sec, Desden, Destination Lonely, I meant. Alton Gun with an Ooblek. So it probably means, sounds Alton Goon. And LA's Salami. LA's Salami. Find out about LA's Salami. If they're as good as this, I'll do a show. If they're not, well, you'll just know. Space is the key EP. This is a rough ride. Production isn't there. It's kind of mushy. Fearless Eye is comedy. It's got much better production. And spaceship for ever 
I'm sorry, spaceship for everyone. It's kind of hot windy. And what are the geodesic domes? <laughs> I could read my own writing. How many times have I said that? Five? Geodesic dome seems to be a thing with these guys. And then Oman is also muchly improved. Here's some songs from Oman. It's coming. Huge step forward if you ask me. Did you go to the crossroads, you guys? <laughs> Fell down on your knees? Ask the Lord up above. Save poor Bobby if you please, but I guess it's like save poor us without our surnames, if you please. Thousand helmets of gold. Gold is too soft for a helmet, you know. Citadel on a satellite. Hyperion altitude lake. Sonar dark with space gold were the stars. Gold are the stars. I think it's kind of like silvery, but <coughs> okay. You gotta use your imagination, I guess. Aurora off coffins. Sun gongs. Cavernous lions, tiger, bears. Oh my. Yeah. Now this is the future. And from France. Come on, Talevo. Très bien, merci. I know a little Spanish too. But, uh, that's not important right now. What is important right now? What's important is that we get back to work and that I know you have a lot of time on your hands and you think going and being part of the riots in American cities right now is kind of a cool thing to do because nobody seems to be getting busted because there's so many freaking people and they're burning down stores that have nothing whatsoever to do with that stupid cop. And Antifa is coming in from outside of the state to make it worse. They want to keep this shit going up until the election. You mark my words. It's going to be a rough summer. That's what's going on. And I'm safe from it because I don't live in a city. And I don't want to. When I was a kid, there were riots in Newark and Plainfield, New Jersey. And from that moment on, business just up and left those cities. And there was no work for anyone. And the town just decayed. You think Newark is rough now? You should have seen it back in the 60s, the 70s. My God, it was... It was on beyond what everybody could possibly describe as urban. It was urban blight. And it started with rioting. Because the businesses, they're like, we can't do business in a place if this is going to happen here. So we'll go someplace where we can do business. 
And that's what's going to happen in Minneapolis. And if this keeps up, it's going to happen in the other cities that it's going on in as well. Is that what you want? You want to destroy the country? No, you don't. This is a good country, people. It's got some bad people in it. Some of them are cops. That doesn't mean that everyone's bad. Doesn't mean that you're bad. Doesn't mean that I'm bad. That makes two, right? So cut it out. Let's make America great again. And I know I get in trouble for saying that, right? I like him. I, I pretty much always have. When that tape was played of him saying that he, he liked to grab women by the pussy because they liked it. That seemed like it set a, a tone for the rest of Donald Trump's presidency. But remember, it was Hillary Clinton that found that tape and put it out in the first place. So don't blame Trump because he does what every American male did back then. We did it because we thought it was okay to do. Maybe it's changed now. It's not okay to do anymore, but older guys like me, we're not going to have much success with it anyhow. But, you know, people like Donald Trump, they've got billions of dollars. Women will kind of like do whatever it takes to get close to a guy like that. And now he's, he's not a angel. He's not the most uh, wonderful president we've ever had. He's, in fact, everybody's blaming all this shit on him, but he never ever did anything to deserve what he gets from the Democrats these days. He doesn't deserve it. And I'm going to vote for him again. And anybody that doesn't like that, this is the United States of America where we vote the way we want to, not because of what other people tell us is true or false. It's up to you. And if the Democrats can change their party from the ground up and give us some good candidates, I'll vote for them. But they haven't done it lately. Thank God we didn't get Hillary. <laughs> I'll see you next time. If you can put up with me.